Imagine a world where you live for an extreme old age, over 100 years old, but you're healthy all the time, and you're doing fun things, and you're spending time with your family, and one day not wake up. Wouldn't it be wonderful for the individual, for the families, for the economy, for everyone? When I first started researching longevity a few years ago, I inevitably fell down a bit of a rabbit hole and just started watching video after video. Some researchers believe a biological revolution enabling humans to experience eternal youth is close at hand. Stop postulating that dying of aging is a natural process and somehow should be preserved. And I found myself being pushed down some of the more fringe ideas, but the science just doesn't add up. We'd be able to make ourselves do which is to live indefinitely. They take the blood from 16 to 25 year old donors with the promise that it will rejuvenate you and give you a more youthful feel and appearance. I figured there must be people in this space who are talking sense. And lo and behold, there was this guy near. We are able to move on and make sure that not only we can live longer, but live healthier. Thank you so much. They're humans that are living much longer than, than other people. Why is it happening? So I thought, let's look at centenarians and see what makes them unique. In 1998, we started a study where we asked the offspring of centenarians to have battery of tests every year in order to see how their aging is slow compared to our control. Ruth is in her 80s, very robust, very smart. And that's why we're studying her every year. Ruth, I'm going to have you walk to the end of the mat. And those boxes there, those are sensors. They're going to be picking up your steps as you're walking, OK? We have nearly 3,000 people where we are doing testing. Lynn, I'm going to walk forward about 10 feet and I'm going to ask you to recite every other letter of the alphabet as you walk back towards me. Okay. A, C, E, G. Why some people are living healthier and longer? We really had several hypotheses. Maybe it was their lifestyle. I don't know, I just have a very straightforward way of life, but, and I think my father definitely did, my mother also did. When we looked at that, we found something interesting. 50% of them were overweight or obese, 30% of the women and 60% of the men were smoking. In fact, when you ask them, why do you think you live so long, there's diversity of answers. I eat chicken fat all my life. I was a ballerina. I ate chocolate. I exercise, I didn't exercise, luck or God. <laughs> However, the most common thing is longevity, exceptional longevity in their family. My father died at 96. My sister, she's 90. They have what we call contraction of morbidity. They're sick less time at the end of their life. They don't have decades and decades of ill health. They live life to the full, and then they just die. And within that, I think, is something that we'd all aspire to. There's something there that slows their aging. Let's find it, because once we discover what gene it is, we can design a drug to do exactly the same thing for the population at large. <laughs> 